I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, create habits, create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach. Today's fun fact of the day has to do with the hours in a day. Did you know that the number of hours in a day is slowly increasing? Scientists while studying ancient corals realized something very interesting that back then there were more days in a year than we have now. About 380 million years ago there were about 400 days which meant each day was about 21.8 hours long. They arrived at this calculation by researching the daily cycles recorded in each coral. Then about 290 million years ago there appeared to be 390 such cycles in the coral meaning that the days were getting lesser and lesser however that also meant that the days were getting longer and longer so approximately each day would have been 22.4 hours long the earth appears to be slowing down its rotation and we are gaining 2 seconds every 100000 years and this is excellent news for all of you who keep grumbling about wanting more time i hear wishes like this all the time I wish I had more time to work out. I wish I had time to spend with my family. I wish I had time to work on my passion project. I wish I had time to read. We look at time as an absolute thing. I have 24 hours. Whether I like it or not, the day is going to rush me. The time will slip through my fingers and the day will be over. Very often we feel helpless to this fleetingness of time and we are unable to figure it out. It leaves us feeling overwhelmed. I've had clients feel this all the time and that time is their biggest enemy. They are true, but I have one qualifier to this statement. I say wasted time is the biggest enemy. Time that was not used, time that had no purpose. Yes, that definitely is the biggest enemy. By wasted time, I refer to time that has been spent between two activities or activities that could have been outsourced to someone else for a price or activities that you have to do that you don't really want to do let me give you a few examples to help you think about these kind of activities i once had a part time maid that would come clean the floors and the toilets of our home like this she would go to five other homes each day the most interesting thing is that she had also kept a maid to clean her own house yes that's right my maid had a maid she realized that that one hour she spent cleaning my house paid her more than what she paid the maid cleaning her house and this is brilliant imagine outsourcing your work to buy back time we often think about waiting for someone who's late as a waste of time i see this instead as time that has been gifted to me i can do a whole podcast on this later but the crux is that someone 15 minutes late has gifted me 15 minutes of time i can use that to do a quick meditation or finish calling my family members read a book or do things that i would not have otherwise found time for so doing things you don't want to do but feel you have to do like meeting people you don't like for dinner or drinks very often we are forced into situations like this because we can't say no having the ability to say no to things is essential finally one of my favorite methods to increase the amount of time i have each day is stacking activities having multiple things going on at the same time so that you avoid waiting for one thing to finish before you start on the next for example i like to stand on an acupressure mat each morning i also have to brush my teeth so i keep the mat in my washroom and brush my teeth while standing on the mat so adding things on top of activities is a great way of creating time this of course flies in the face of mindfulness during activities but that's a compromise i'm willing to live with so what if i tell you that i could grant your wish of having more time what if you could have more than 2 extra weeks in a year just think about that 15 days that you've created all you have to do is create 1 hour every day out of your wasted time that over a year leads to 365 hours of created time divide that by 24 and you get 15 days sounds impossible but it's actually very easy to do As your habit coach, I want you to live your life to the fullest and have as much time as you need to live an awesome life. So your simple habit to create 2 extra weeks of time each year is to spend the next 6 days auditing your day. Take a hard, unbiased look at how you spend each day. Identify just 
10 minutes of wasted time each day for 6 days. Identify ways you could reclaim that time. By the end of the exercise, you should have identified 6 different 10-minute chunks of wasted time. And this totals to 1 hour. Congratulations, you've just created 1 hour each day. Now use this 1 hour in the best way you can. If you want to spend that time with your family, do it. If you want to spend that time working on a blog, go for it. Even if you want to spend that time watching two episodes of TV, fine. No judgments here, as long as you consciously choose and know that it is not time wasted. So start these habits and share with us your progress using the hashtag TheHabitCoach. If you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am Ashtin Doc on Twitter and Instagram. You can find lots more information on my website, awesome180.com or check out different content on my YouTube channel called AWESOME180. That's Awesome 180. How aware do you think you are of your laws and rights? Do you look up to laws when you are caught up in situations? Do you know what your rights are when you are stuck somewhere bad? Well, here's a show that can help you move an inch closer to being aware of what your rights are. Tune in to Know Your Kanoon with me, Amar Rana. This is a podcast meant to answer all your law-related queries. Catch Know Your Kanoon every week on the IVM website or the app or anywhere you get your podcast from. Sachin Tendulkar, Virat Kohli, Don Bradman, and now Cyrus Brocha. Okay, probably not in the right company. I mean, Don Bradman is Australian. But it's called Cyrus Says, a wonderful show about everything. Find the show on the IVM Podcast app, ivmpodcast.com, or wherever you listen to podcasts.